what's up guys welcome back to our dark aether series here on my second account and in our last video our top comment was from funny cat saying that we should get any weapon of our choice done on nuketown onslaught so that's what we're gonna be doing today also if you want to leave a suggestion on what weapon we should do next go ahead and leave a comment down below i'll have a comment there as well with all the weapons we've already completed so make sure you check that out before leaving your suggestion that way we don't get any repeats all right so i'm thinking i should go with something that's a little fun and we have plenty of smgs i haven't done yet so let's go ahead and take a look at them there's the milano the 74u the ksp the lc10 the lapa and the ppsh but we don't have that unlocked i think i'm gonna do the milano and i'll use this blueprint but we do only have it level one so i guess we're gonna use this time to test to see if onslaught is actually good for leveling weapons I have two kills with it. Pretty insane. But besides that, we need to get everything for it. And I have had people in the comments telling me that Onslaught's really good for weapon XP. I've only really played it one time, so I guess we'll find out. And since Holiday Onslaught's here, might as well play that as well. Apparently, I have to play this online only. That's a little weird. There's no, like, solo option for it. Oh, wait, we have to stay in the orb. I didn't know that. I thought it was just a whole map. This is so weird. I just got done playing, like, actual Nuketown Zombies in BO2 for the first time yesterday. Now we're playing this. What is this? Oh, it's a zombie! Dang! What does the snowball do? Oh, it freezes them. That's pretty cool. It's like Cryo Freeze. Oh, and a present! Just a nade. Lame. Let's check our XP. Okay, we're almost at one level. It's taken 25 kills. There we go. Uh-oh. We have a boss. Eat snowballs. Random perk. And we get mule kick. Beautiful. The exact perk I wanted to see. We're already dropping ammo like crazy. Oh, shit. Is there not even an ammo box on this map? Maybe it will be useful. One of these random perks should drop a uh, dead shot. Haha. Uh -huh. I don't know if this is faster leveling than Outbreak. I'm gonna be honest. Seems uh, a lot slower. What is that? nice oh oh it's like naughty or nice okay why are we getting guns give me perks there's our first camo of the day stroke and our second level up i feel like it's gonna be a long day there we go what's our perk dead shot let's go and he only dropped what this guy got all the upgrades who picked up the armor the chalice and the wrench Oh, and then, and then he taunted at me. Why does it only drop one if it's supposed to be a two-player game that forces you to play online for it? You're supposed to fight over who gets what? I'm just going to be sitting here with my my red non-pack-a-punch Milano on this ninth surge. There's our wasteland camo. We got 50 crits now. What's in the presents? A whole lot of nothing. Those presents are useless. I thought it was going to be like the Halloween event. We're going to get like crazy shit like chalices dropping left and right. Same with like ray guns. But no, it doesn't want to be fun. I think I'm going to stay in this game till this guy decides that he's done. Once he quits, I'm out and I'm playing my own. Uh-oh, he's down. Oh, he just left. Okay. As I was just talking about him leaving, you know what? I'm staying. He goes down one time and leaves. I guess I would probably do the same thing. I'd lose all my perks with no way to buy him back and getting one every 10 minutes. But I will say the levels have gotten way faster than they were at the start. I'm at level 14 now. It seems like I'm getting like two levels per surge, maybe. Maybe a little bit less than that. Maybe like 1.5. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Amphibian camo, we're at 250 crits already. Let's go. Good thing about starting at level one and actually doing something that we can get a lot of kills with. Oh, pack a punch as well. But the good thing about doing all this is that we'll have our crits done a lot sooner than usual, or at least before some other camos. And I'll, another thing I'll say about this mode, since it's online, even if you don't have anybody else with you. Oh, wait, I can pause the game. All right, I take that back. Oh, take one, Vanguard. I'm going to need pack two soon. Oh, and I'm going to need a doctor. Shit. Can I even kill a zombie to get up or am I done? Oh, there we go. We made it up. Good thing we still have Deadshot and Speed Call. That's probably the two best perks we need. We got no self-revive, no quick revive though. I don't know how much longer we can last here. All right, what do we get from that? Still only a bronze chalice. What's up with them and giving you the same reward over and over again, thinking that's going to help? How's a bronze chalice going to help me if I already have my main weapon pack a punch? We're on the 20th surge. Do you think every 10 at least it would switch up? And I'm dead. That's the game. We destroyed seven elites, got 800 eliminations. That was actually pretty fast. 38 minutes, eh, probably around the same as where I'd be in round base, but non-stop action. All right, let's see how much camos we got during that game. 505 crits, not bad. Four, 744 eliminations, 547 pack-a-punch kills, and we need to unlock everything else still. But that should be pretty easy. All right, I invited somebody from my friends list. Hopefully they can uh, stay at least until we get into the game. They can stay for the whole thing if they want. But I really just want to find a game because it's going by so much faster now that there's somebody in my party. If you're trying to solo queue Onslaught, it's almost impossible. 
I, I just spent the last half hour and got into like four games that are all the wrong map. I'm only getting Miami and Express. All right, we're finding games now, but none of them are Nuketown. Literally none of them. Oh, no wonder. Nuketown doesn't even exist in this. We have to play Onslaught Containment. There we go. Finally. All right, we finally made it back to Nuketown, but it's Containment. Wait, does that matter? I don't think so. I think we can just go up and sit in this building. Come on, Mikey Mike. We can show right here. I guess in these early rounds, we don't really need to sit anywhere. We can kind of just roam and get kills. Oh, that's the spot? This guy's a genius. Oh, we get Deadshot as our first perk. Let's go. We're chilling. And we've already made it to level 30 on the Milano. Not bad. Once you get into the game, it's not that bad for grinding. There's a whole lot of insta-kills that drop, though, which I don't like that much. I get way less crisps with insta-kill. Downfall camo. Let's go. 750 pack punch kills. Oh, a silver chalice. We get pack two now. Let's go. And with the thanks. And we got tombstone, of course. There's our boundary camo. 750 crits. And a scavenger camo. We're starting to get camos like crazy now. And a zebra camo. We're going to clear out that whole category pretty soon. My main gripe with this, not a whole lot of uh, aether wrenches. My shit's been at green or at red rather. There's a self revive. Thank you, Mikey, for pointing it out. Put a little ping on it. And blue tiger. I think we're like one away from finishing it. It's so cool how we can just sit there and kill zombies for a long time. And then we'll just get that one random elite that comes in. We kill it. And then it's just back to grinding. Like if this mode was a little more conventional where you could buy perks and you could like pack a punch whenever you want and upgrade your weapon and your armor, this would definitely be the go-to mode for grinding. As of right now, it's just missing a few things to make grinding convenient. But if you you can stay up and you can stay alive and you have somebody to play with, this is a pretty good mode to grind in. There's our rising tiger. Mikey turned invisible somehow. I don't know how he pulled that one off. It must be a new field upgrade that I'm not aware of. Oh, shit. Nope, not going down. Not going to happen. I'm not losing these perks. Uh-oh. Mikey went down, though. Okay, so it seems like it scaled the same for about both of us. We started uh, getting into tr some trouble there. Let's try this. On the decoy. Get him up. And it ended. Beautiful timing. So many zombies are spawning now. Jeez. This thing ramps up fast. I'm going to try going up here now. Oh, let's go. Ring of Fire up here is doing wonders. We got this, Mikey. Is there an invisible zombie hitting me or something? There is. I'm getting hit by nothing. Casper's hitting me. Holy shit, it gets difficult. And with no way to upgrade and if you go down, no way to get those perks back? This mode can get frustrating if you're just trying to grind camos. Because it takes a little bit to actually ramp up to the point where you're grinding like effectively and efficiently. This is like very hit or miss. We need some aether wrenches like now. Let's try surviving up here again. I feel like I'm still getting hit by nothing. There's like a ghost zombie in this corner. It's like information overload right now. I, I, I'm i just snapping like 400 zombies right there. And I almost had a stroke trying to get that sentence out. There, there's still an a invisible zombie hitting me. That's annoying. Oh, there's our bloodshed camo. 1500 kills. The kills come so fast on this map. It's just there's so many inconveniences that come with it. Yeah, I'm literally getting hit by nothing. There's nothing here. Oh, I'm going to go down. 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 Fuck. Let's go. We made it back up, but we don't have dead shot. I don't know how, because that was the first perk we picked up, but we don't have dead shot. That sucks. Crit's going to be a little harder now. And this invisible zombie keeps fucking hitting me. It's getting really annoying. I might have to change field upgrades. Change class. How's the storm? Okay, I'm down again. I just got hammered. I wonder what Surge 33 is like compared to like round base, because the zombies are doing massive damage. And they have massive health. What's knocking me? This is fucking annoying. I wish there was a way for me to repair my armor. I went from having all perks to none within like a round. Okay, we got Deadshot back. This invisible zombie keeps fucking hitting me. Fuck off, dude. I'm pretty sure there's one field upgrade that you can use. There's a single field upgrade that you can use. I don't remember if it's uh, Cryo or Permafrost. I don't even remember what it's called. The Ice one. Or if it's Tesla Storm. But Tesla Storm is probably the smarter option to have at the moment. It's still hitting me through the Tesla Storm. We made it to level 41. We're only nine levels away from getting it maxed out. I played uh, Onslaught for probably about two hours so far. Maybe like an hour 45. Oh, I could probably stick this. Oh, we're out, we're out, we're out. We made it out. Holy shit. He did not though. And I'm dead. Okay, we made it 35 surges though. That's not bad. 1,114 eliminations, 591 crits. We did pretty decent. Let's vote Nuketown again. And I'll take this little bit of time we have in between games. What? It says I'm level 38 still. Okay, hold on. It just said I was level 40 something. So is it artificially inflating? Yeah. How do I have this camo unlocked if I don't have this 
category unlocked. That makes no sense. But we're, we need 1,500 more crits, so we got to keep going. There we go. Level 50 of the Milano. I don't know if it's real or not, because last time it took away levels, but we can finally start getting every camo for this thing. What's knocking me? Is the invisible zombie back? That's horse shit. Yeah, the invisible zombie's back. No, we're we're in a groove. We're getting everything done. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Yeah, the invisible zombie got him too. I mean, I, I can still self-revive here. It looks like around, like around 33, 34, 35, something like that. Is when the invisible zombie shows up and just messes up your whole game. But another thousand kills, another 780 crits. One revive, three downs. We did a lot better that time. I think we, we got it down to a science now. All right, let's check on our camos now. We need 700 more crits, about 600 more regular eliminations. And yeah, it is taking away our levels. It's like giving it to us and then taking it away. Because we're level 48 now. We were just 50. Now I'm switching some attachments around. We got our marksman badge. We're max level with this now. At least that's what's saying. Are we going to give us a different story once we're out of game? Oh, there's our banished camo. That's all of our crits. Now I think we just need to be done with pack of punches. So we literally just need kills at this point. And it don't matter how we get them. We can get them real fast right here. There's a level up. Is that is that gold viper? Nope. We got to be close though. Oh, there's gold viper. Let's go, baby. We did it. Only took like six games of whatever this is called onslaught that's what it's called all right now that we're finally done with the milano this is what it looks like with gold viper on it honestly pretty bad it's worn it's not on most of the gun but this was a gun that dropped right at the beginning of the cold war so its coverage wasn't that great but it's remedied here in plague diamond plague diamond looks pretty good definitely looks a lot better uh with diamond than uh than the gold but here is dark aether Ooh, that's rough there's no coverage on this gun oh all right well maybe it looks better in game let's go check it out all right this is what the milano looks like in game with dark aether and i'm still getting that thing where whenever the weapon's facing me it's like the the pattern on it goes to straight void like all right i, I want you guys to look at this see towards where you have to pull the weapon like after you're done loading it like i i hit this and I pull that back. It looks very light pink. And then I inspect it and it's not. Is there any kind of setting I can turn off? Let's turn off ray tracing and see if it looks different. No, it doesn't. There's not even like that many graphic settings that I can try to fix it. It just does this. And it looks awful. Rip, dude. A Milano looking garbage. It looks default with like a purple aftertaste. Like right here, it should be looking good. Dookie. Butthole. My gloves look better. Plus ratio. But there you have it. We've grinded the entirety of the Milano in Onslaught. And is it good for grinding? Yes and no. Uh, I feel like you do get levels at a decent rate. I don't think it's as fast as you would in Outbreak. But it's not bad for getting camos while getting levels. I'll give it that. You definitely get a lot more camos combined with levels than you would in Outbreak. But it's definitely faster to level an Outbreak first, then go to round base. Because this took probably about twice maybe even bordering on three times as long as it would to get a normal weapon done but i mean it's it's a fun mode uh it definitely has it, it, its cons if you go down getting your perks back pretty hard to do uh you can't replenish your armor pack a punch comes randomly it only comes when you kill certain bosses and sometimes you don't even get pack a punch three until like very late in the game and then once you're very late in the game there is an invisible zombie that'll come up and hit you it, there's nothing you can do to kill it I think there's some sort of field upgrade that can kill it actually, but I couldn't figure it out while I was playing. And that just completely ruins using Ring of Fire if you have to do that, making it less efficient, meaning that you can't stay in the game until you get all the way up to Dark Aether. Decent for grinding, but I wouldn't say it's great. But with that, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. So if you guys like this, you wanna see more, go ahead and leave a like on it. If you didn't and you don't dislike, if you're new here, please start subscribe and put out all kinds of COD content throughout the week. That's gonna be it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.